I was shocked, honestly. Um, like I've been a part of some teams where got a new it's a revolving door with coaches, but I've never got a coach fired in the middle of the season, let alone day before a game. Um, emotions were everywhere, uh, mind was everywhere, but you know it's kind of hard to focus on a Saturday when leading up there you have you have somebody that's going in a fight with you that's no longer there on Saturday. What was the explanation that was given to you all as a team? Oh, uh, there wasn't one. There wasn't one. Uh, they used the. Um, the chief of staff, I forgot his name, I think Mr. Smith or something, uh, they used uh, the word business. Um, and that was troublesome to to just kind of comprehend because there was a lot of things that coach explained that business wasn't the forefront or business wasn't taken care of. And it's just odd that uh, this was the, the situation that they decided to use business on. Was it a little more frustrating? I mean, at football, at, we're told all the time, it's like a family, right? And for them to kind of say, oh, no, sorry, this is business, yeah. does that feel a little... Um, I mean, you spend you spend months with the guy. You spend months with uh, you know your team, and you build like the rapport. And it's just hard that, like I said, going into a game, you have one of your family members, let alone a coach or a teammate, um, the head coach, uh, no longer with you. Without, you know, it was so subtle. So it is hard. Anybody else? Are you a senior? Uh, senior, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, I, I can go. I can go from a personal note, and then I'll go from a team perspective. Um, Coach Fagans uh, met me uh, where I was. Um, he came and got me where I was. I was part of the seven uh, people that uh, was allowed an official visit, and then committed uh, right then and there. Um, knowing the situations, knowing the 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 settings of the university and what they had, what they didn't have, I still chose to trust that man, and 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 play my last year of collegiate football for him. Um, you know, he's a, he's a man of God. He's a man of faith. His family is a, is a family of faith. And, you know, it was since I came there, since I arrived in Raleigh, North Carolina, it was just nothing but love. Um, you know, like I've, like I've said, I've been to several schools where you have se you have assistant coaches, you have, you know, maybe GAs or something like that do the work that he's done. And he's a head coach of a Division II uh, team. And he, you know, shoulders the load of a lot of things. So um, loyal guy. Um, forces you to be loyal to him because he's going to give you everything he has.